Trabajan en la ciencia Hideaway. It's, we got a little uh, special occasion at midnight, guys. Some guys turning big 21 it's not, over not here. Not a big deal. 21 is <laughs> like an average birthday, right? That's what they say. Yeah. Yeah. The Wait poker gods it. are going to be looking down on us tonight. It's going to be a good day. Let's make some money. Let's make some money. I Let's like the sound of that. Let's go, boys. In this hand, we look down at Jiggity's. A timeless classic. I raise it to $10 in the cutoff. The button calls, small blind calls, and early position calls. We are going Four ways to a flop. Of Jack 3-9, we smash it top set. There are three diamonds though, so I'm definitely gonna be betting to charge those one diamond draws 30. out there. I elect to bet 30 into a pot of 42. I'm not really hating this so far. This gentleman across from me checks both of his cards before making the call. Usually this is a sign of them checking to see if they have one diamond, meaning that their cards are off suit. So when the turn is an offsuit deuce, I am feeling pretty confident that we have the best hand here. I am going to charge draws with a bet of 65. $65. I slide it out. The gentleman thinks it over before raising me all in for 200. Kind of gross. It seems as though he could have the flush already but given the combinations of other sets and stuff, won't be folding here, and we're live if he does have a flush. That puts me all in, right? I call. I make the call. He has lovely ace, queen of diamonds. Thank you, Jiggities. You guys are so dope. Once or twice. Uh, I'll do it twice. We run it twice when he asks, and the board does not pair either time. So this is a fun little $500 pot to start the session. Does not go in our way. What hand is it? Jiggities. Am I surprised? No. We're playing Big O, which is five card Omaha high here. Uh, we pick up a pretty nice hand, but I still don't really know how to play this game, so I just limp. And actually we get into a family pot. Everyone limps for $5. We see a flop of 7-7 seven, seven queen. And to our surprise, after the small blind checks, a big blind bets $20. Uh, it folds around to me. Ultimately, I choose just to call and keep him betting into us. The small blind and the big blind make the fold, so we go to a turn heads up. The turn is the five of clubs, doesn't change anything, and music to my ears, the big blind pots it for $75. While he's sliding out those chips, I look down, make sure I've still got the top boat. I do. So I wait for a second before I just rip it all in for 205. The big blind seems strong and he snap called so feeling pretty good about my hand. I quickly shuffle through my cards, try to find the two queens, toss them down and to our delight we are good. We take down a pretty massive pot for big O. But honestly all you need is to be a luck box like me and flop both so it's not that hard of a game. Here we pick up 10 jack of spades on the bun, it's a straddle pot, and the straddler is the very aggressive player in for multiple buy-ins. So, when the middle player decides to limp for $4, I bump it up to $20 with a hand that goes really well multi-way, and I am in position of all the aggressive players. Where's pot at, man? Pot at. I gotta call anything now. So after a few announcements from the straddle and military player saying how wide they're calling with, we get to a flop which comes ace, queen, three, two spades. So we flop a gut shot and a flush draw. Here I definitely can check, but I want to protect my range, which ace, queen is going to hit my range a lot, and I can get a lot of folds here betting the flop. However, that's not what we see. We see a raise from the big blind to $200. So a very big raise, which quickly gets the other two players out of the hand. And now we're to a decision. Um, I definitely don't want to be folding here as there are nine cards to give us a flush and four cards to give us a straight. So that's a total of 13 outs if I was behind right now. So um, I think it gives us a decision to be either going all in or calling. And he has $275 behind. So I think all in would be totally fine trying to fold out any ace, jack, race, king. But instead, I decided to just make the call. Definitely want to see a turn card here. However, before that happens, I'm all in there. What was that big blind? I'm all in there. 
So the big blind announces all in jams for $275. We're going to see a turn for one of the biggest pots of our lives. Guys, I can't lose another big one. Gabe Kaplan, help us out. Oh we got a God. king. Unbelievable. We got a king. We oh. hit, guys. We hit. I announced I let's go, and I called the $275. We're in the biggest part of our lives with the absolute nut. The two of spades comes on the river. Are we still good, guys? Does he have a higher flush? No, he does not. He shows 5-4 of spades. We had him dead on the turn. Happy birthday. <laughs> Big Blind wishes us a happy birthday as he gives us over $500 of his stack in a total of 1074 Guys, wow. I really couldn't ask for any more on my birthday. I am so thankful that I'm able to capture this on the vlog show for you guys. I mean, the best birthday gift of them all is having this vlog and the support you guys have already showed us so far. So cheers to 21 and cheers to more Fat Pots. All right, all right, all right. Boys, boys, um, taking a little mid-session update. Um, we just won the biggest pot of our lives. Um, we're 30 minutes away from my birthday. Uh, turned 21 in 30 minutes. Um, absolutely absurd. Um, I am currently playing with $1,200 in front of me, the most I've ever had, bar, bar none. So, uh, let's keep this one up, keep grinding, let's, uh, let's enjoy the day, keep celebrating, and, uh, win some more hands. After this hand, we're gonna take the... Oh, boy. Let's go, baby! Yo, Happy birthday, let's go! Brother. Can we get cheers real quick? Yeah! Hey! Happy birthday, man. Hey, cheers! Cheers! cheers. 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 Yeah. You know, it's after this freaking... Oh, no, it's 40 on you. Yeah. He's actually jumping in the pool. He's actually... Decent-sized stack. Don't you know, tell him he is. the hideaway here. I don't know. <laughs> so he doesn't realize he agreed to jump in the pool if he made that much money. Yeah, we're making that mother <laughs> jump in the pool for yeah. sure. In this hand, we look down at Queen Ten of Diamonds in the cutoff. There is a limp for middle position. I raise it to $10 in the cutoff. Small blind and big blind both call. It gets back to the limper who re-raises to 20. The limp min re-raise. Pretty weird, but given that we're getting five to one, we will not be folding. And the small blind and big blind call as well, giving us even better odds. We do a flop, not really knowing what's going on. Flops eight jack, four, two spades. Just a gutter for us. I mean, not really what we needed on the road to getting back to even. But they all check, and me being in position, I check as well. Let's hit a free turn. Bingo! The nine of clubs. We turn the stone cold nutter butters even better. The small blind bets 20, the big blind calls, middle position calls. Definitely gonna be raising this up with the two flush draws. I choose $95 as my sizing to do so. After some deliberation, we get one collar in the big blind. So basically exactly what I want. The river pairs the board. It's the eight of diamonds. Um, not a great card as we're not losing to sets that are now full houses. He checks it over to me. I don't think I can be scared though. I have about 150 left. I'm all in. And I rip it all in targeting hands. Uh, like two pairs, maybe the bottom end of this straight, the 710. After going into the tank, he decides on a fold. So we take down a $300 pot, uh, not a $500 one, but we're inching back towards even. Thanks, man. Yeah. For this end, we pick up quite a beauty, pocket aces, under the gun, and we decide to raise it up to $8. Unfortunately, we see a call from not only the hijack, but also the cutoff. And then the small blind and big blind decide to come along as well for the ride. We see a flop of 226, and before I can even read the board, the small blind donks $30. Um, that's pretty shocking to me. The big blind folds, and I'm kind of stuck here between a raise or a call. Ultimately, I lean towards a call here just because this is a pretty unconnected board, and uh, mostly the opponents behind me aren't going to have hands that connect with this board well if small blind's donking. But to my surprise, hijack calls. And Cutoff wants to see another card too, I guess. So we go to a uh, turn four ways. We see a turn of the five of clubs. Uh, doesn't change too much, puts a second flush draw out there. But besides that, not too scary of a card actually. Small blind checks for me and I decide to check just because my table had been playing pretty loose tonight and uh, definitely either of the two later position opponents could have a two in their hand. The hijack checks behind and the cutoff confidently announces a bet of $55. Uh, I'm still a little stuck here, I'm not exactly sure where I am but my hand's way too strong to get out of here 
and so I think this is just a pretty standard call once we get a call from the small blind. Uh, we don't want to get jammed on if we re-raise, so I just make the call for $55. And we see uh, the hijack make the fold. So we go to a river three ways, and oh, it is the most beautiful river of all time. It is the Ace of Diamonds. The flush draw gets there. Everything just gets there. I don't know. There's some straight draws that might get there. Maybe. Well, 4-3 was already there. I don't even care. My mind's already made up. I'm shipping it all in. I rip it in for $185. Let me show you that again. Pretty sick from another view. I shipped that all in. We hear grunt from the cutoff who doesn't want to fold. However, she does, sadly. I'll show you guys now how I try to convince a small blind that I'm bluffing. I'll let you guys listen in. I'll show you if you fold. That's interesting. <laughs> you said you'd show if, you, if I fold. Well, shoot. Our plan didn't work out as hoped as the small blind folds. He shows 6 8 of hearts, though. Uh, so I think we got max value from a pretty average hand. However, look at that pot we just took down with pocket aces. Isn't it nice getting value with the best hand in poker? Oh, I love aces. For the last hand of the night, we looked down at 8-6 of diamonds on the big blind. Um, our favorite aggressive player on the hijack bets $15. The cutoff makes a call here, and guys, you want to see as many pots as you possibly can when you're against a really, really aggressive player. So at this point in the night, he was already down about 5 or 6 full buy-in, so about $1,500 into this game. We see a pretty good flop here. We got a lot of backdoor straight draws. We have the flush draw, obviously. I'm going to check. Unfortunately, the hijack checks behind us. But the cutoff does not disappoint. He makes a bet to $25. Nothing to do here besides call because we, do, we could be up against higher flush draws and we'd be in a horrible spot if we raised and got re-raised. So I just make the call here and thankfully we priced in the hijack to make a call as well. Now, I want you guys to take a second real quick before we see the turn and I want you to think of the best possible card that could come out for me. You got it? Bink, the four of diamonds, giving us the straight flush draw, gives us the flush, and we are in multi-way with two aggressive players. Wow, I mean, dream situation. So back to the hand, um, I check here. We do see a bet from uh, the hijack to $95. So he sizes up here. I mean, come on, can you get anything better? Now I'm gonna try to put him on a range, which is very difficult to do as he plays any two cards. I don't think he had a flush draw as he would have bet the flop. I don't think he has a king because he would have bet the flop with that too. But I definitely am gonna raise here for value. I think any diamond can make a call. Any single diamond holdings can make a call. However, he does end up making the fold. Can't complain though with that big blind special. I mean, guys, this was such an amazing night. I mean, the profit was awesome, but the birthday all around was such a good day. Uh, I mean, very thankful for this session and glad things worked out for me today. What's up, boys? What's up? I guess we'll start from the bottom and work our way yeah, to okay, the top. Yeah, we'll start there, we'll start there. I mean, you saw me do a classic little punt within the first hour. <laughs> Fun stuff, love those jiggies, my favorite hand. We're down a little more than 300 early, grinded back in we were into the game for 660, out for 517. So I call that a nice little comeback. I was in for 200, was at about 650, and on the last hand I played, I dumped off about 150 of it. So Can you just ended, wait one second. <laughs> ended about up a little over 200. Today I got in for 300, and we cashed for 1200. So. Uh, Kind of next gen poker's biggest cash ever. Sorry, Rosie, for taking that. Throne. I had the title for <laughs> like a throne. couple weeks. I'll yeah. take it. Yeah. The dream. The it dream. was the dream. All right. <laughs> we'll see you boys later. Let's see. So, you thought we were going somewhere. We we're not going anywhere. No, we're not going we anywhere. We made an agreement, a pact, before we walked in today. Something we've never done before, but we were just feeling good. He was feeling Such extra good. BS. And the pact was if any of us Such profited $1,000 today, which we've never done before. Like, what are the odds of that? We jump in this little hideaway pool that you guys have seen a few times. <laughs> so, this guy was up 1000 He's up only about 900 but we're going to round up because it's his birthday. Enough. I actually have a towel in my back. Uh, in oh, you back do? I actually so, do. Yeah, I just... Oh, Joe, can you hold my money? Thanks, Obi. <laughs> Sorry I profit so much. <laughs> Sorry I make so it's much It's your money. birthday. You get 121st birthday. Let's go! Let's go, baby! <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's cold as fuck. Next in poker, baby.